Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Crosco. Or the two, I guess. <laughs> I am Amari Yakumo and Dark is here to watch me suffer and help with the voice really acting. Suffering. It's not La Milana. Eh, fair enough, it is a really good game. So yeah. It's also gonna help with the voice acting this time, so I'm not gonna be completely sore all the time. Hopefully. Well, what is a little voice acting on the side, huh? Uh, oh yeah, I did unlock New Game Plus. Let's see what it had. I'm not gonna keep any of that stuff. I could increase some of that stuff at least. You know. Not make the series quite as long as last time. Don't want an 80 episode se a series? Oh, well, let's be honest, it will probably be about as long anyway. <laughs> Can't beat Mass Effect though. <laughs> it's technically still going. Yeah, but that's oh, multiple games there. to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they should make it a bit easier at least. You really need it to be easier? No. <laughs> you anyway. You. I'm, I'm here for the ride. Fair enough. And we're here for the story mostly anyway. How about difficulty and a six more? Mm -hmm. I had a game of its intended difficulty. I'm gonna try it whatever difficulty I want to. Yeah, I mean, it's literally explaining how you can tweak it in game, so. Hmm. Crosswords. Bento chan. What a name. I know, right? Shiangi. I know you're gonna hear me. What do you say? Hisoka, I have to ask you to leave. It doesn't really matter who voices that guy. Huh, oh, you're keeping him here? What do you think you're doing? Time is running short. We don't have a choice. So you have talked that dying person and let him work until his last breath? Is that it? I'm going to talk some sense into him. Don't get in my way. Shizuka, please she don't run this. Hmm? Is she ninja running? Maybe. Weave! Oh yeah, tutorial. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. Really? We'll have to do better than that. You know, this is what he wants as well. Sure, you'd like to think that. You won't listen. Cold waste? How very creative. Hit. I don't recommend that. It's fine. Weak to hate how surprising. Almost done. If you interrupt him, all of his hard work will be lost. Don't do this. Don't? It never should have happened in the first place. Okay, this is it. You don't know when to stop, do you? Just watch. You can throw as many enemies as at me as you'd like. The level threshold doesn't exactly work in your favor. Hmm. 
She may say what point. Oh, um. OVS, are you alright? Is there a problem? Yeah, it's not recording the game for some reason. Mm. Up. Hmm. That is very weird. Give me one moment. Alright, I think that's working now. Yeah, that was weird. Anyway. Is it actually recording? Yep, it's it's showing on screen now. Right. So what was so that you're going to have a blank segment in the middle of that. I mean, I have a background in case weird stuff like this happens. Yeah, but how far, how long did the... Eh. Technical difficulty occur. Just when I entered this room for some reason. Hmm. Weird. Anyway. Satoshi. Sister. I guess I could have let you have that one. Oh well. What do you think you're doing? You are in no condition to do this kind of work now. All you should do is rest. Why should I rest when I'm way beyond recovery? I need to finish this work. It's my final task. I told you about the agreement. I finished this and I will let you go. No, I don't want this. Satoshi, stop it. It is done. No! Shizuka, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry I got you involved in this. Just promise me that you will get away. At least. And that's just the intro. So, he worked himself to death in VR. Something like that. Which shall I sing about that? That one's yours. There you are. Initialization successful. Huh? Oh, is the speech synchronization malfunctioning? Mm hmm. Apparently. Well, something just had to go wrong. But you understand me, correct? Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, we will make it work somehow. You are probably confused about this situation, correct? Mm-hmm. All right, let us take small steps. Do you remember VRPs? Mm hmm Okay. Virtual ricochet projectiles. Mm hmm Balls. <laughs> Okay, you seem to run. <laughs> Garla, we are ready. Please initiate the training sequence.
ERPs are your most essential tool and weapon. They are basically like balls. Your task is to hit all these robots with ERPs. So, give it a shot, or rather, a throw. <sighs> Nice work. Mm. Well, just to be sure, let us repeat this exercise with an extended distance. Mm. Nothing particular about VRPs, they are not affected by gravity. Thus, no matter how far you throw, VRPs will not fall to the ground. Very good. Okay, next let us enable the charge mode. I think I was already using that. You activate charged VRPs by aiming for a longer time. Let us practice right away. Charge mode allows for throwing of larger VRPs. Those charged VRPs will ricochet on oh. walls. <laughs> Oh, that was quick. <laughs> I suppose I talked too much again. I forgot you could literally interrupt him. <laughs> anyway, the practice with VRPs. It's about time we put you down on your feet. Carla, we are done here. You can terminate the flotation sequence. Hey there, girl. Welcome to our cozy cargo hold. Mm. Name's Carla. Nice to meet you. Mm. You sure are a quiet one. Apparently there's an issue with her speech synchronization. She still understands us, though. No way. Is there a way to fix it? I do not know yet. I'll have to look into that. Anyway. I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other somehow. Not about the communication, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. girl. Still, kinda would like to know your name. Sorry, can you help us out here? Right. Her name is Leah. Leah, well ain't that sweet. Oh. Well then, Leah, ready to get up? We gotta get you ready for what's coming. I'm throwing on the lag, you know? And I got just a thing prepared for you. Follow me. Okay. Can't save anywhere. Oh, I forgot I had so many save slots. Kind of how you always work. Yeah, fair enough. You sleep through the door when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get started. Hmm. Your task is to reach the door at the other end of this room. And don't mind me, I just stick around and keep an eye on you. Well, I might give you some hints, if you ask nicely, you know? Hmm. Oh yeah, never mind the visor. I just need this to see what you're doing. Hmm? Yeah, we'll worry about it for now. We will explain it to you later on. Good to know I do sort of remember how to do this. Hmm. Oh. 
Mira, wait, huh? And she's also an engine running. Entering the next stage. More switches away. Gil, you sure are natural with that vaulting. Carla, they're called VRPs. Do not, not balls. Oh, come on, nobody calls them that anymore, you know? Unfortunately, yes. I guess I can't really do much with that yet. I will do it. Well done, yeah. That was all. It's a small room. I see, but I was kind of hoping for a secret already. Yes. Ah, finally! This one's my favorite! Here you can go wild on these robot mice. Moving target practice. Have fun, girl! Hmm. Ah, yes, your favorite kind of puzzle. The one where you just need to kill everything. Personally attacked by that remark. I also resemble that remark. <laughs> Moving on. Stop running. Fast, huh? The mice. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, there's more. Yeah, it's not a thing <laughs> Apparently, somebody had a fun time putting this together. So, I would say. There we go. Oh, slow down there, girl. Just a short warning. Here you'll meet your first real enemies. And by real, I mean those things will, in fact, attack you. <gasps> Don't get me wrong, they're really easy, but still. If you do get bit down, your respawn point is right in this room. Huh? Um, that means there's no real danger. Go on ahead and give some ass. Just a moment. Let me enable the dash module before we start the battle. Dash activated. Ooh. Dash is essential in battle since it helps you quickly dodge enemy attacks at any time. Right, it is. Now please enter to the right in order to proceed with the ice kicking. Alright, good luck in there. Honestly, I would be surprised if I got it hit even once. I haven't played this game in a while, but I still kinda remember, you know? That was awesome, you know? Sorry, you weren't kidding. She really, she's really got a knack for battling. Yeah, that sure takes me back. Huh? Hey, chum, get your adrenaline down again for a second. We got to add a bit more edge, edge to your arsenal. A sharp one, that is. Hmm. I see that got your attention. Sorry, you finished? Yes. Unlock. Unlocking virtual proximity impact now. 
Mire, me activé. Great, with those close combat strikes. You can quickly tear through several targets in your path at once. Only the close ones, of course. You got that? Mm hmm. Sharp as a blade. I'm start by clearing that path for us, will ya? So basically, it depends on where I click. Wait there for another second. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. A second wait is an attack wasted. Still, you should know that your strikes have enough punch to interrupt some, some attacks. So you can just pummel your enemy opponents without giving them a chance to strike back. Hmm. That's like a plan. Am I right? So go get them. I did not manage to read what I what she was saying. Nice moves, they didn't even see it coming. Standard VPI was not modeled after boxing. Shush, smarty pants. And another victory for our fearless gladiator Leah. A boxing gladiator. <laughs> Hit. Yeah, this sounds uh, a bit more difficult. Mostly because I was playing with gamepad last time. Oh. Amazing work. Number sure can't beat skill. And you just crossed the finish line. Congrats! Hmm. Seriously, girl, that was quick. It's like you've never forgotten the basics at all. Mm hmm. Oh my, you still look so puzzled about all this. I suppose it's about time we explain all the circumstances. You bet it is. Well, let's take a short break before that, okay? I still need to report to the captain. He wants to meet Leah as well. Yeah, let's not keep Jet waiting for too long. Come on, Leah. Right this way. Alright, up to the bridge! Oh yeah, Leah, just a heads up. The captain's kinda grumpy, but don't worry about it. That's just the way he is. Mm. Yep, I'm back with the report. I see. Go on. The initiation? A total cinch. You're still about there. Thanks, Leah. I right, hard to miss that boss. Hope you didn't run into anything with those horns there. Huh? Wait, don't tell me you didn't notice the horns till now, Leah. Uh... Anyway, make sure you clean up the mess that you started down in the cargo hold soon. Yes, Cap. I hope Sergey is satisfied. Is he around? Yeah, just give me a sec to set up your headset. Hello there, Jet. My good man, it's been a long time. Indeed, you're still clinging to that jetpack, I see. You knew I'd never travel to sea without good old Betty. <laughs> anyway, I hope you two will be ready to travel on soon. Having a darn avatar on board is just calling for trouble. Of course, we'll make this as brief as possible. Jacob, what kind of welcome is that supposed to be? Besides, aren't we talking to yet former PRP dueling champ? You keep telling us all about your combat moves from the old days. So here I thought maybe you'd want to give Leah a small combat lesson. Hmm. You're telling me that we last is up for a battle? Oh, you bitches! Right. We'll see about that. Just talk to me later today. Sweet! Now then, you're dismissed. You can show the last are on the ship, but don't you stir up any trouble. Alright, Captain. 
up on it yet? It's time for some fresh air. Welcome aboard the MS Solar. That's a big cargo ship. What the ship, huh? <gasps> you know, the view here is nice, but you ought to see what's beyond the ball. We're currently steering towards Rombo Square. That's something to look at. Huh? Actually, why not go to the bow and explain the situation to Leo there? Seeing Rombo Square will make it easier for her to understand, correct? Hey, good thinking, Sergei. Follow me, Leo. Hmm, they're scratching at my door. <laughs> there she is, the Avatar! And she's a Spiromancer class. How awesome is that? Huh? Look like you've got your first fun, Leah. Hmm. Hi there, Carla. Good to see you. I bought all these strange boxes here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm supposed to clean that up. But right now I have to take care of the other, you know? I'll do it in a bit, okay? See you later. There she goes again. Said exactly the same thing yesterday. Spiro Master, so awesome! Oh, <laughs> well, it's this way. It's a bit of a wild toss. Just follow me. Uh, what were you... What are all those structural boxes in that room, anyway? I was just practicing how to use those things, you know? I really should have done that somewhere else. Right. Okay, have a look at this! Okay, where to start? How about welcome to Grass Wars? Huh? One step at a time, Carla. Leah, do you remember the concept of an MMO? Mm-hmm. Alright. Now, Crossworlds is like an MMO, just with one striking difference. The world of this game is not virtual, it is real. All players are remotely connected to this world through special avatars. These avatars have a physical form, and are tightly connected to all five senses of the player. And you, Leo, are currently logged into this game as well. Uh, huh? Oh, me? No, I'm not a player. I just work here. In fact, you're the only avatar on this whole ship. That's correct. This cargo ship belongs to the maintenance staff of Crossworlds. The actual game takes place in the land you see over there, the playground. The reason you are here, Leah, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory, and we are trying to recover it. <sighs> you see, you have been in this game before. And logged into this game. And logged into this game, there's a chance you might remember your past. And that is why we will try to get you to the real playground soon. Yeah, in fact, you'll be going to the glass palace of a city over there. That's Rombo Square. It's where all players start. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess this cleared up some things at least, right? Alright then, I think this is a good time to split. I'm gonna go talk to the captain and try to set up that combat lesson for you. Well, you can have a look around the ship if you like. The crew knows about you, I guess you already noticed that, right? You can meet me and the captain later. Until then, just make sure not to fall into the water, girl. Avatars don't like the weather, by the way. By the way, Leah, I had a closer look at their speech synchronization issues. 
Unfortunately, I do not think I'll be able to fix them soon. Mm -hmm. However, I have found a little workaround. I might be able to hard code specific audio patterns into your speech module. That means you will be able to say certain words. Mm -hmm. That should help a bit, correct? So, let us try it out. I think you've learned. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> that should help you start some conversations with the crew here. <laughs> Aside from the fact that all you can say is hi. Hi. Hello there. You must be a guest on the ship, right? Mm. Like, don't be shy. We see me may look rough, but we're easy going folks, really. You want to know what I'm doing here? Mm -hmm. I'm currently checking up on the solar panels here. These are our primary energy source, so they better work properly. Otherwise, our nice shiny EMF solar won't budge a centimeter. Trust me, being stuck in the ocean too long is not something you want to experience. <laughs> this, me this must be some really powerful solar panels. <clears throat> huh. I suppose you don't even notice you're an avatar. Well, the human appearance is pretty convincing. Except for the hair color. <laughs> well, there's more, there's more uh, panels towards the back of the ship I've spotted. Yeah, fair enough. Also, uh, at least they're explaining how the ship gets its energy. Yeah. Even though it's a video game. Mm-hmm. What is it? Look who's here. You must be the Avatar, right? And welcome to the MS Solar. If you lean over the railing a bit, you might even see the name of the ship. Hmm? Oi, make sure you don't fall into the sea. I'm pretty sure our avatars are bad at swimming. That is correct. Oh yeah, that's too. Oh, this avatar is bad. Hi! Woo, she talked to me! <laughs> yeah, calm down there, fellow. Anyway, Carla just passed by us again. She told us that you could take care of all these boxes here. I mean, really, can you believe that woman now she's loading off her work on her guests? Well, she has a point. It's easy to destroy those boxes with your avatar weapons, right? Mm-hmm. Please, I want to see that! Well, no pressure, you know. You are our guest after all, but you'd help us out a lot. Hmm. Oh, will you destroy the boxes for us? Mm-hmm. Yes, show us the balls! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. Uh. I lost all sense of dignity for the night saying that. Mm -hmm. I lost all sense of dignity for the night saying that. <laughs> there we go. Those can only be destroyed from one side. Hey then. Like that. Clear. Truly amazing. I'm really surprised how quickly those balls are flying. What are you even talking about? I didn't see any balls, only those balls are disappearing for whatever reason. Yeah, you need to wear these AR goggles to see them. The balls and their impacts are like virtual and stuff. I see, so that's why you've been wearing those goofy, goofy glasses all day. Nothing about style, lady. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, thanks a lot for the help. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Avatar. Hi. Hey, can you see I'm busy here? Wait, who are you? Mm. Oh, right, I remember now. You're that pseudo robot thing. Huh? Oh, no offense. You see, I just recently had this discussion with a college. It was about avatars being the same as robots. 
and I have to insist, they are not. Avatars are just some fragile, temporary collection of infant matter. Everyone knows, everybody knows real robots are made of metal, like these beauties here. So I just can't share the excitement of my colleagues about your presence. You're just an avatar, not true robot, see? Hmm. Anyway, I have to take care of my babies here, so if you'll excuse me. Well then, you're excused. Hi. Sorry, I'm busy checking the containers here. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Anything else? Oh, we can go out there back. That is truly, um, a lot of crates. Yep. Hi! Well, Avatar incoming. I must say, I'm surprised. I expected the embodiment of some gamer kitty's wildest dreams. Lots of beefcake and such. Yeah, here we have a, such a cute girl. Aww. Too bad it doesn't really say anything about the player's actual appearance. Aww. It's like the old days of MMOs. Some things never change. Oh my, that's some extremely colorful hair, hair you have there. Aww. I had heard that avatar designs tend to be flamboyant, but really? And those arms too. <laughs> You're not happy about them either, huh? Now I have to wonder who put those things on you. We're <laughs> gonna try to whistle. <laughs> Dead. I might just didn't pick it up. Ah. Fair enough. Um, let's see, this is where we were before. Well, that's a lot of people. Yeah, we can at least speak. Oh, this is actually the right place. Hi! Well, you spoke! Is your voice finally back? Uh, hi! Wait, that ain't right. Her speech synchronization is still malfunctioning. I just hard coded the word hi into the speech module. That is all she could say for now. I'm currently working on adding more words. I see. It's a start, I suppose. Anyway, the cap and I here have been planning out your combat training here. We're almost set and good to go, right? Alright, this is gonna be interesting. Well, I'm off to my cabin for some final preparations. I'll be done in no time, so just stick with the captain, okay? See you later. Mm. Alright, I'll be back on the bridge. You can talk to me when you're ready for the lesson. Make sure you're prepared. I'll be expecting your full attention. You two over there. Make sure you clean up the galley if you're done cooking, understood? Aye, aye, Captain! It's not like we forgot since the last time he told us. Yeah, wasn't that yesterday? Details. <laughs> Listen, no more times I forget to clean the kitchen after I'm done with it? Or worse, or even worse, have they been cooking for a day? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's an oldie. <laughs> Can't talk. Must defeat respawning enemy. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna succeed, buddy. Oh, I thought they cancelled this game. Dang it! Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh. He seems pretty engaged with the game. We should just. Let him play. Hey, Talia. You better not keep the captain away then. Wait, Carla. Is this your room? Sure is. Something wrong with it? How, How did, did you... do it? <laughs> End of a mess. Who went? This room. I did nothing. 
I can see that. I mean, how did Jet not see this room? <laughs> ah, I see. Well, you'll have to wait for another time to hear my secrets, I guess. Ready to go to the bridge, the captain wants to show Leah some new tricks as soon as possible. Mm hmm. What? You're not curious, Leah? Well, I guess we should go then. <laughs> It's not as bad as two bosses. <laughs> huh, you must be the avatar the captain told us about. Hi. Well, feel free to check out the ship. It's just one of the smaller ships of the solar class, but it does its job. Hmm. So you checked out the room across the hall? Mm -hmm. Don't mind it, normally every room has to be clean. But somehow she manages to get around Captain just seems very chance. Hmm. This is weird. Hmm? How does Carla do it? <sighs> I will find out. Someday. Be learning less as much? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, there's also... Yeah, see, there's some more panels on the top. Now, granted, I don't think those panels have enough juice to power a ship. Yeah, I mean, must be some pretty high tech or something. There you are. It's about darn time for your combat lesson. You ready? Mm-hmm. Good. Let's go to the balcony. Good. Here we are. Carla, are you ready up there? Yes, Cap. Don't forget the goals. I have worn these for some time. All right then, time to start. I was told you learned the basics down in the cargo hold. Mm-hmm. Still, first I want you to show me your grip on aiming and throwing. Carla, prepare the target box. Time to say hello, hello to an old friend. Listen carefully. I want you to hit that robot from this distance ten times. And do it quickly. Got that? Mm-hmm. That was way too slow. You're supposed to quickly throw balls at the target. I'll show you how it's done. Watch closely. See them dotted lines? That's the throwing range. When I start throwing balls, they'll be flying randomly between the two lines. That's some pretty darn sloppy throwing. We won't have that here, you hear me? Now, fact is, when you be throwing your precision the walls, your precision will improve over time, like this. Clearly, this takes time. You want to practice, want to be precise quicker? Then you better keep the aim and stop, stop the darn throwing. Quick, wasn't it? Once you get your lines connected, you can throw with high precision. See how you keep your precision after throwing? Once you get the lines connected, you can quickly throw as many precise balls as you want. But your precision is lost when you change your aim and direction too quickly. So in short, don't rush with the throwing. First, wait for a split second to get the precision. Then you can throw to your heart's content. Alright, you wanna try again? Mm-hmm. Good. Let's see if you got the message. I see you understand the basics well enough. That will make things easier. Carla, we need that turret now. Time to turn on old Betty. 
Next, we'll be practicing the dash. The turret will start shooting at you. I want you to do two things. First, keep your aim on the turret, but don't throw anything. Second, dodge the turret's bullets without losing your aim. All right, then, let's start. You have to be faster than that, lass. Don't even think about simply walking past those shots. Dash at the right moment. <laughs> oh. Well, you just breezed past a lot of dialogue. Sorry. Nice one. Enough with the dodging. Now try to handle this attack, lass. What the heck was that? Don't you know how to do a darn guard, lass? Actually, Jet, as a matter of fact, she does not. I forgot to activate her guard module. Well done. Sergey, are you serious? You can't send that lass into battle without a proper shield? Yes, I will fix that right now. Yeah, activate it. Good. Now you see you have your shield. Need an introduction on how it works? Mm -mm. Alright, then let's have another go. Very good. That's all the basics I can teach you for now. Now, to round everything up, let's have a proper battle against the turret where you can lose everything you learned. Though, there will be a little surprise waiting for you. Let you take a short breather. Talk to me when you're ready. I'm ready. So, you ready for the battle? Mm hmm. That's what I like to hear. Let the battle begin. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we need you on the bridge, right now. What's the matter? Something is approaching us, and quickly. What a darn timing. Sorry, lass, but we have to stop here. Duty calls. Garla, you clean up the balcony first and come to the bridge afterward. Understood. Girl, I have no idea what's going on here, but it'd be better for you to go inside too. Okay. It's still on the radar, approaching us at high velocity. Transmission, not on ship to see. What's going on here? Cap Captain, I think I got it on satellite. You gotta see this. What a peculiar location we have here. It's a darn cargo ship, you dubber. You look like someone who jumped right out of Crossworlds. This ship is not part of your bloody playground. So don't be a nuisance and get lost. We had a weird of the nature of this place. Yet we perceive the presence of an honored another misplaced individual. That's none of your bloody business. Get off this ship and back to the gang you came from. Foolish mortal, do you truly believe we will abide by your command? 
Did you just call me a mortal, you nutcase? Yeah, man, right now. Well, I'm glad, glad to tighten your grip on reality. You bored us. We chose to no longer converse with the likes of you. Besides, our search has already been concluded. Hi. You. You do not belong here. You need to be removed. Wait, you seem all too familiar. Huh? Why, it can't be. Indeed, it might be a mere coincidence. Oh, but we must definitely have a way to be certain. What a convenient stage we have here. Now, it is time to face your trial. Let us see if you are the genuine article. A display of your talents shall suffice as proof. Leo, do you hear me? I am just as confused about this whole situation as you are. It is certainly a mess, but we will get you out of this. For now, take on this challenge and keep him busy. I know this enemy looks intimidating, but do not lose hope. I am confident you will be able to handle this. Mm. Because I can see it's battle stats. They match your level. Mm. Mm. Was a bit risky. How did Dare mix the pattern up? Huh? Did it Dare mix the pattern up? I know, right? That was not a difficult boss fight, you know? I don't think that really qualifies as a proof of anyone's talents, but okay. It was a level 1 boss. A spinning motion! One cannot find it twice in this world! Truly, there is no doubt about it! When was the last time we have laid eyes upon you? You within your incomplete vessel! Yes, you have our utmost interest. You will come with us. <laughs> Greetings from the solar fist, you pile of instant matter. What's this? Your divine power is getting into a proper explosion. <laughs> Why, you... This is preposterous! Okay, you need to get off this ship. Bring it now. Mm. Carla, get her back to the teleporter as fast as possible. And tell me when she's off the ship. I'll make sure no trace of cross worlds is left on my ship. You got it, Cap. Follow me, girl. Alright, time to run. Bazooka to the shoulder much? Eh, uh, you know. Well, well, our endeavor has not been concluded. You will not escape our will. He already got that. Yeah, those are high-level opponents. 
Do not fight them. One to the teleporter. Hmm. We can sense your fear. Your every step. Your escape is futile. You should talk a lot. Yeah, you know. Oh no, you don't. Bye. I'm pretty sure those things would have one hit kill me. Damn, how are we gonna pass this one? Wait, I got an idea. That works though. Here we're again. Time for you to leave this party. Mm. Come on, sweetie. This isn't the time for tearful goodbyes. Besides, there are those guys. Your value and your crosswords. <laughs> you damn pile of things. Sorry. <laughs> you damn pile of instant matter. Stop putting your trash all over the ship. This ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah, we did it. But he almost got us. There are probably some enemies left down in the cargo hold. Putting even more trash in my cargo hold. Okay, that's it. Playtime is over. Crew. Activate the neutralizer. Your meddling with mother stuff are not of your concern. This is my ship. Dobbers like you messing with my ship are on the bloody top of my concerns. I said it before, I'll say it again. This cargo ship is not a part of the bloody playground. What the bloody hell is all that about? <laughs> now, isn't there something we said that going after what basically functions as staff and moderators? <laughs> Just saying. <sighs> we did it, Leah. <sighs> I still cannot believe what just happened on the inner solar. Anyway, we are now in the official playground. Yay! This area is packed with all kinds of security measures. More interference from that blue individual is highly unlikely here. Yep. Mm. For now, let's just proceed. This is Rhombus Square. I hate that name. Or more precisely, Cucumber's Bridge. This is the official introduction to Crossworlds. I placed you right in front of the last part. It is important that we do, do this part as the official way to avoid inspection, avoid suspicion. Hmm? Ah yes, speaking of suspicion. Listen, Leah. Hmm? It's absolutely essential that you pass as a regular player. We must avoid being reported at any cost. Uh, I? Ah, uh, yes. Do not worry too much about your speech synchronization issues. You are, in fact, not the first player with these problems. Hmm. Anyway, just be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. The name Romp Square variates me. <laughs> Most of these players here are newcomers, just like you. Veterans usually skip this part, obviously. That was actually one of the options for New Game Plus. <laughs> ah, pardon, didn't see you there. Hi. Um, Bonjour. You are new here too? Mm hmm. 
Hmm, but I have never noticed you up here before. Oh, does that mean you got up after me? Mm-hmm. Oh, you almost need very quick with the tutorials. Probably got the hang of it now, too. You will not be me until last tutorial station, none. Let's meet at the end. I will be waiting. Huh? Au revoir! Very competitive, this one. Alright then. Ah, yes. Gracias. Rob, they want you to voice that one in particular. Ah, oh, they added a welcome sign. Be hospitable. Are you looking for the redhead pentafit from before? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm afraid you will not find her here. You see, each player is placed in a separate instance of these rooms. Mm hmm? You'll find plenty of puzzles ahead. You really would not want other players to interfere around here. So it is all about who will be the fastest by themselves, right? Hmm. Alright, Leah. I'll be gone for a couple of minutes. I will contact Jet and Carla and try to investigate that blue individual. I'm sure you'll be fine by yourself. See you later. I really have to work in this vocabulary. Mm-hmm. Right. It would have taken me way too long to figure that out. And this is why I'm I'm playing it and you are watching. It's not that I'm dumb, it's that I'm dumb. That's what pretty well. And three. Also, minor bit of trivia. There's actually technically a timer on every dungeon to determine which player finishes it first. Damage! And green lifting. So yeah, we can do that to... Inspect things, we can take them out. They have guns. They have the guns. Oh, right. It's like this. the last jump, huh? Fine. 
It's a pretty easy dungeon. Step one. Yep. Two you mean like that? Uh. It's not nearly as complicated as it looks. Not my idea of fun for sure. Yeah, well, Marshall Remolana, that is why I'm the one playing, right? Is your side to do? Okay, nice. That, um, you know, I'm good at these games. So you don't deny it? Eh, depends on the game, really. I like my challenge sometimes. Back to normal on the MS Solar. There are no traces left of that blue individual. Hmm. I also tried to find some information about him. There is nothing. Oh. We can be pretty certain that he is not connected to the official game. I just cannot imagine a regular player leaving Crossworlds and going on a rampage like this. Something is very strange going on here. Not to mention that he recognized you. Mm. Your memory might, in fact, contain some answers to all this. Mm. Anyway, there's no need to worry about this right now. Our goal is to simply play Crossworlds. Mm -hmm. I see you've made a lot of progress already. So, onwards! Progress! Character menu, activate. Press that to open the character menu. Inventory, equipment. Okay. I need to equip those things. Oh yeah, before I forget. Inventory... How was it? Add-ons. Yeah, they're dying a bit faster, huh? Oh, right. And we certainly give you XP at this point. Alright. Also, implant. the game is implying you're supposed to get this far, which is like, what, three dungeons in without your character menu? Something like that. Already reached level three? That is strange. I thought you were supposed to reach level two at this point. Mm hmm. I suppose they may have added more enemies. Not quite. Do you remember when we hit level three? No, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I 
I know you hit level two during the, that boss fight, though. Well, yeah, we hit level two during the boss fight, but you know. Uh... Yeah, that's all I got. All right, I probably need to hit this thing, don't I? Ah, there we go. Anyway, incoming. <laughs> Look familiar. There we go. I guess I didn't need to actually turn on the thing, huh? Not really. Oh well. Yay! Level up! Level 5. Nice work. You did great. Mm. That is quite a long intro episode, huh? Ready for one big upgrade? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're cute, activate that. Uh, it's the passive skill tree. Oh, this is the perk tree. Pretty much. They also give you special combat arts. Mm -hmm. You know, I get SP used for combat arts. Yay! Let's find some of those. If we have. Yeah, we do have some points. to use milliards in combat. Sure. Which can change direction. Yeah, simple enough. Leah, please wait a second. I have a little upgrade for you as well. Mm hmm? I finally managed to add another word to your vocabulary. Hmm. Well, 
You know how it is. No shiny effects from me. Just the upgrade. Here goes. You are the better. Leah! Leah? I think you will need this one, since I will not be able to introduce you to other people anymore. Leah! Hi! 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 Leah! Hi! Leah! Hi! Oh. Look at me like that. I know, it takes a long time to add these words. It's a very involved process, actually. I need to manually extend your thought control model. Essentially modifying a statistically generated code based by hand. Huh? Yes, it is very technical. The technology to control avatars is, well, complicated. And that is an understatement. Anyway, the second word is done. I'll work on the next one right away. Yeah. <laughs> ah, thought you would be first. I yeah. Ah, a win, but wasn't that fun? I was very surprised by that boss at the end. Mm -hmm. um, pardon, I didn't introduce myself. Je m'appelle Emilie. Nickname Emilinator. Oh. I know, it's genius, that's right. So, um, what's your name? Leah. Leah, nice to meet you. So, are you ready to take the sky rolls? I wish we could already explore the city of self but none. Hmm? Didn't you know the sky roll will take you straight to Grass Central? From there you'll be transported to the mainland. We'll only be able to enter Rombo Square much later. Hmm. Oh wait, it sucks, I know. Your turn. Yeah, over there. I don't know oh no. Yes, you, the Bluebeard Spheromancer. Hi. Before, you just appeared out of nowhere. Suspicious. And what do I see now? You are at level five. This is unheard of. I'm forced to assume. You, young lady, have been cheating. <laughs> Fuck is this guy? He's got that thing song. Huh? Uh, what? Monsieur, going straight for the Cassations? How can you be so sure about them? Just because you're stuck at level 3 doesn't mean. Impossible! No player on record has ever reached level 5 at this point. Young lady, surely I don't need to explain to you the faults of such actions. Hmm. Cheating will never pay off in the long run. Hi. Is that all you have to say? Oh dear, what is going on here? Oh, I've exposed this cheater here. Ah, no, uh, you're late. Oh, okay. Yes, but the wrongness of her actions. How about... no? What? I'll just go ahead and pretend I don't know you. Come on! Apologies for my friend's behavior. He sometimes pretends to be a moderator. He is not. No, no problem! I can do. <laughs> Young lady, I'll let you off this time. Reflect on your actions. Mind <laughs> you, what was the deal with him? Uh, I hope we don't meet players like this around here too often. 
Anyway, let's go on. I want to finally reach Rocky Harbor. You can come with me if you want to. Mm-hmm. Debbie, let's go. Whoa. My heart stopped, just stopped there for a second. That was close. Really, though, something is not quite right with your current level. How did it even end up that way? Yeah, we might have kind of beat that boss in advance. You know, extra boss or anything. Anyway, I think that's uh, an hour and 20 minutes. That's probably a good time to stop for now. And next time we will go to Rumble Square and stuff. So, yeah. Hmm. Hi. You look puzzled. Do you want to know more about the Track of the Ancients? Mm-hmm. The Track of the Ancients is an ancient assessment system based on a highly advanced technology. The Seekers, it is your task to walk the track and discover all the secrets it holds. Once you reach Rocky Harbor, you can attempt an introductory briefing to learn more about them. Now basically, if you stand around near people having, you know, that random dialogue, you can, sometimes you can learn more about it. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you all have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I hate Ramba Square. <laughs>